Hello, and welcome back to GeoNo. Today, I wanted to do something a little bit different. I wanted to highlight a really special geologic location called Dinosaur Provincial Park, DPP for short. No, not DDP, DPP, Dinosaur Provincial Park. It's in Alberta, Canada. This is the place I did my master's thesis when I was studying sedimentary geology at Texas Christian University, or TCU. When I first decided to go to graduate school, to be honest, I just kind of knew it was the next step in my life, but I truly didn't have much of an idea of what I would be doing other than studying something related to sedimentary rocks. When I got accepted to graduate school, I was utterly clueless as to what to expect, and therefore I truly consider myself blessed that this opportunity came up to do some research in a very special place. As a side note, if you're a geologist and planning to go to graduate school, or anyone, for that matter, planning to go to graduate school or just succeed in undergrad or grad school, I made a playlist of videos with tips of what I wish I had known in undergrad and grad school. Tips to succeed and get ahead and not take out student loans. I had not heard of Dinosaur Provincial Park before starting grad school, but I have since spent approximately two months, one month at a time, each a year apart, at this location for my studies. I absolutely fell in love with it, so I wanted to recommend this park to anyone wanting an idea for a fantastic place to travel with family, friends, or just flying solo. You'll find plenty to do in terms of hiking, exploring, and camping, and you'll be able to take part in some fantastic guided tours that show just what a rich place this is in terms of dinosaur and geologic history. If you're not careful, you may even trip over a dinosaur bone in this park, and take my advice do not trip and land on one, it will hurt. To access this park, generally you'll be coming from Calgary. And from Calgary, you will drive east through the yellow canola prairies of Alberta. And after about two hours, you will arrive at Dinosaur Provincial Park. When you first arrive in the park, you'll find the visitor center on your right hand side. This is where you can explore the museum they have on site, including dinosaur skeletons and information on how the park came to be. You can also register for a guided tour and get any information you may need regarding hiking. This is also where you will check in if you're planning to camp at the park. And naturally, you'll find a gift shop. Overpriced as they all are, but it is there nonetheless. And let's face it, you've got to have that little t-shirt that changes color in the sunlight. A couple of warnings, or I guess a heads up, as you travel to Dinosaur Provincial Park. Mosquitoes can get overwhelming. Pack appropriately. And when it rains, the ground is extremely slippery, even though it may not look like it. The bentonite clay minerals in the soil and bedrock cause it to be very slippery when wet. If you continue just north past the visitor center, you will find the Cretaceous Cafe. This is a surprisingly delicious little eatery conveniently right in the park. I highly recommend the Maple Bison Burger. It just doesn't get any more Canadian than that. I suppose you could add a side of poutine. Across from the cafe to the west, you'll find a road that leads to some trailers. This is the area where researchers and other personnel stay while in the park. In fact, I stayed in that very trailer right there. If you go and do research here and there is still a 13-inch TV VCR combo with a nice selection of VHS movies, you can thank me for that. Pro tip, keep an eye out for researchers. They might just take you along on an adventure if they're allowed to. We met some folks studying bats, and they invited us to go with them to net and tag bats. Of course, we just mostly watched, but it was a really cool experience. Now, most people will just get their fill from the park from camping, touring, hiking, fishing in this area. I was very fortunate that I was working under a research permit with the park, which allowed me to truly explore a fascinating area called the Steveville branch of the park. And just as a warning, we had to access this area through private property, so please don't attempt to access without a permit. Trust me, it is watched carefully by both man and beast. There are plenty of activities in the other areas that won't get you in trouble. The Steveville branch of the park is almost untouched by the public, and because of that, you will see fossil pieces of dinosaurs, turtles and trees almost everywhere you set your eyes. It is a fantasy for paleontologists. We did not have anything allowing collection of specimens in our permit because we're not paleontologists, so we weren't allowed to remove anything. But it was fascinating to walk around and take pictures of the fossilized bones and trees. The time I spent here was very rewarding, and I'm grateful to have had the opportunity to see this park, stay there for an extended period of time, and walk where only permit allows. 
What a beautiful place that I look forward to taking my family one day. Because even without a permit, you will find amazement with all of the options available to tourists. You will love Dinosaur Provincial Park. And while you're in Alberta, a couple of other places that you might want to check out that are stunning. One of those is Banff, which is actually just west of Calgary in the Canadian Rockies. It is some of the most beautiful landscape you'll ever set your eyes on. And as a pro tip, that is a little bit of a touristy area. I do recommend going there because it's beautiful. But if you want to get away from the touristy area, I believe there's a place called Jasper that might have a little bit less of a touristy feel to it, but give you some of the same spectacular vistas. Another place that I would very much recommend that you go and see if you're in Alberta is the Royal Tyrell Museum of Natural History. This is one of the top paleontology museums in the world. It is definitely worth seeing and spending some good time there. It will walk you through the history of the earth as we know it, and through each time period, you'll see the evolution of creatures through geologic time. It's a really special place. It's enormous. It has some of the most spectacular paleontologic finds that have ever been discovered. And it's just stunning. So if you have the time, go here. Spend some real time there. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. And one thing I'm curious about, have you ever been to Dinosaur Provincial Park? And if so, what was your favorite thing to do there? And what would you recommend to people planning a trip to DPP? If you haven't been there, what do you think? Are you going to put this place on your list of places to travel?